hi you guys welcome back to my channel and another video i have a special guest joining me for today's yeah. intro oh he's very cranky and grumpy so he wants to sit with me while i talk to you guys for a little bit but today is actually saturday and hey. it's around 12 p.m in the afternoon right now and we just got ready well i just got ready for the day so i'm not like, ready yet he just got his vaccines yesterday and he is just like not doing good poor guy i feel so bad for him um i hate when he has to go get his vaccines because he always gets a fever and just like so down i feel so bad for him but we're getting through it today should be like the last day of having symptoms so we'll see hopefully tomorrow he'll be better but you guys this weekend is super exciting because tomorrow is my cousin Lori's wedding and it's just gonna be so fun it's gonna be so fun because she's marrying a pakistani so they're gonna be merging the two cultures together so it's gonna be like an Arab slash Pakistani wedding tomorrow and I'm really excited. I love going to a wedding with like mixed cultures cause it's just so fun to see like how, you know, they merge the two. My cousin Lori is like my sister. So it's basically like I'm going to my sister's wedding tomorrow. I bought Malik a tux. So he's gonna be wearing a tux tomorrow. Maybe I can show it to you guys right now. Um, he's not letting me put it on him right now, but tomorrow um, obviously he's gonna have to put it on. And my dress, I'm super excited about. I'll vlog that tomorrow, so I'll pick the camera back up and vlog tomorrow. Today, it's just like a chill Saturday. Ah! Some stuff is working, so it's just me ah! and Mr. Malik. I don't know what we're going to do today, but the first thing on my list is to clean my blog room, this room I'm in right now. I know it looks clean from up here, but you guys... Ah! I'm going to show you guys what it really looks like. But before we get right into that, I just wanted to sit down and kind of talk to you guys. If you saw my last video, then you know I've been just... I've just been going through some things, but after weaning Malik, I don't know if I've talked to you guys on my YouTube about it, but I officially weaned Malik off of breastfeeding. So he's not breastfeeding anymore, and I feel like my hormones are finally like regulating and getting back to like their normal self. I don't know. It was, it was like I went through it for about nine months of those feelings, like PPD feelings. But now I feel like I'm at the end of it and um, I'm already feeling like so much better after like completely weaning him off. But I will say like that weaning process was so emotional. It like amplified my symptoms by a hundred and it was just like so such an emotional time for me. So I wanted to say like if you're weaning your baby or you're about to start weaning your baby, just keep that in mind that you're going to your hormones are going to like be going crazy and you're gonna be feeling like super sad super emotional and just honestly like it was just like really bad for me so I just wanted to warn you guys because I didn't know I didn't know why I was going through that um I didn't know why my emotions were so bad at that time but now that I know it like makes sense but yeah I finally got my body back you guys and it feels amazing I'm not gonna lie like it feels so good having my body back and I'm so like blessed and happy that I was able to breastfeed Malik for 15 months but it was time to stop because my yeah. mental health was just not good so we're both doing really good now <laughs> and I, I'm not 100% you know obviously good yet but I know I will be I'm finally seeing that light at the end of the tunnel but I just wanted to thank you guys for all your sweet comments messages and everything you guys are the best my guest of the day is not being very respectful, so I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not being very respectful. Uh, You're being very loud and they can't hear me what I'm saying. <laughs> Did you not hear me when you were saying? They gotta be quiet. <laughs> you guys thought I was joking. I know y'all did, but look at this disaster. Look at this. Maddox, pull your shirt down. Yep, this is a literal disaster. <laughs> so, let's get started. All right, you guys, let's tackle this mess behind me first.
Okay, okay, next thing I have to tackle is this behind me. It's just messy. I ordered some new stuff because we're actually going on vacation. I think in a week. We're going to Cancun in Mexico, just me and Mustafa, and I'm so excited. This is gonna be our first trip leaving Matic ever. So it's gonna be really fun. He's literally copying my hand movement. <laughs> so let's get this cleaned up. Maybe I can hang some of the stuff I got from Mexico. for Mexico. I'm so excited. It's so cute. These pants for vacay. I'm so excited. I got these little shirt extenders to make my outfits like more modest. So you just like put them underneath your like shirts if you're wearing like a shorter shirt. I just thought this was so genius. I have like all, I'll have a lot of like modest essentials linked on my Amazon storefront. Link is in uh, the description box down below. So make sure to check it out. I got a lot of good stuff. I also got these like little neck covers so that'll like cover up your neck and chest area if you don't want to wear like a whole shirt underneath you know your clothes sometimes my shirts are like kind of low or like my dresses are so I've been putting this underneath here and it covers up the area I want so I don't have to wear like a whole shirt underneath so linking these down below as well for you guys okay last modest essential thing I purchased I just thought it was so genius it's like this half shirt look at it it's long sleeve and it covers up your neck and chest area. So like if you wanted to wear, I don't know, like a vest or something over it, something that's sleeveless, it'll cover up everything that you need to cover it up so you don't have to wear like a whole shirt again. So I really like this as well, so I thought I would share. I got some really good like matching linen sets that I'll also link down below for you guys. Linen is the best for summer because it like keeps you cool and it's just the best. Okay, you guys, I've basically been cleaning like all day. I just ended up like just vacuuming, mopping the rest of the house and just, you know, cleaning up the clutter because it's messy all the time. No matter how much I actually clean it, like every single day, it just still gets messy. So we're gonna go get some drinks now. I'm really excited. It, um, There's this place, there's this place in town called Sippin'. They have like a bunch of like specialty drinks. Um, So it's like, I guess you could say like, they're kind of like mocktails. They're so good or you can get like soda, whatever you want. But I've been loving like the sparkling waters and then they have like a bunch of different flavors so that's what i'm gonna get I take maddox's cup with me because i fill him up from my cup too because he loves it too so yeah let's go get some <laughs> made it yum hi good how are you can i do a large keeping it fresh with sparkling water yeah, have a good day. me too Ooh. let me park so i can Hormonics really quick. How good does this look you guys? Okay, so it's sparkling water and then I get The one I like one of my favorites. It has grapefruit mango puree and lemon in it. Oh my god. It's so good, it's so good. I get it with sparkling water Okay, let's I gotta take the first sip. Sorry, Monica. You're gonna have to wait. I just don't even know what's going on, but it's okay This tastes like summer. Like it looks like summer. It tastes like summer. This is my problem. Is I've been going there like every day since they opened. They opened up recently here in town, and yeah, it's just so good. All right, you guys, let's pour Maddox some. He drinks all of it. What do we think? <gasps> I know you love it. <laughs> Yummy? No. No? <laughs> the magic shop. 
If it's not yummy, then why are you drinking it? Hmm? If it's not yummy, then why are you drinking it? Hmm? Hello you guys, it is the next day now and it's wedding day, it's my cousin's wedding day. What I said, she's literally like my sister so I'm so excited and it's early, it's like 1pm right now and the wedding doesn't start till 6 but I'm gonna go ahead and get start getting ready because it takes me a really long time to get ready especially for like events and stuff and I just wanna take my time, I wanna you know just take my time, make sure my makeup looks good. Thankfully, I don't have to do my hair. This is like the first event I think where uh, since putting my hijab on that that like I don't have to spend extra time like doing my hair as well. So that feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like it feels amazing. I haven't tried on my dress in like a really long time since I got it. I think I got it back in like February or something, January, something like that. So I'm really hoping it still fits. Um, we'll see. I have put on a little bit of weight since then, but I think it should be okay. Um, so we'll see. My mom has my mom has been telling me like just to try it on make sure it fits good but i just i never did i don't know just didn't feel like it so after i get ready i'll put it on i'll show it to you guys it's so pretty i'm so excited but i'm gonna put on an eye mask i'm gonna do all the things i actually wore like a face mask yesterday too so i'm trying to prepare you know how do i do this Oh, these are like weird looking. Look at these. Okay. I'm gonna do it. But I'm so glad I cleaned this room yesterday because I actually have like room to put my stuff down on my desk now and it's not like so chaotic. The stuff is working today, but he gets off early. He gets off at two, so one more hour and he'll get off. Because I'm like, you have to get off early because I have to get ready like I can't watch Maddie and get ready at the same time it's so hard look who woke up from his like two and a half hour nap I'm just glad he got a really long nap in because today is going to be busy 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 day right Maddie yeah. he's like looking at my iPad and he's like what is that on her face oh, oh. oh shush 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 Gotta change his diaper and then I'm gonna finish getting ready or start getting ready. Okay, my like after you bossing. Oh my goodness, so I love when you give me bossing. Okay, are you guys ready to see my dress? It's so pretty. I'm so excited to wear it. So pretty. It's like beaded. It's like this beautiful material. Um, it's from. I'll put her at Instagram at name below. Her name. Her at name is Fustan by Medium. She has like the cutest um, dresses and they're so modest. So this is a belt that goes across here. You can take it off, but I think I'm gonna keep it on because it's pretty. But like, look how beautiful the bottom of it is. It's like so flowy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't tried it on in like a few months, but I'm so excited. Look at the detail of it. The detail is so beautiful. It also has uh, like beaded arms and then on the belt. Okay, you guys, I'm like halfway done with my makeup. I think it's like 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's like 3.10. I'm halfway done with my makeup, so we're doing good. Almost there. I did like my face makeup and my eyeshadow, so that's all done. I think the next thing I need to work on, basically the next thing I need to work on is my eyes, which is probably going to take me a while because I have to do my eyeliner and mascara. And maybe I'll apply like some false lashes on the ends and then lips and then highlighter. And then I guess I'll be all done. So, so I just wanted to update you guys. I didn't want to like bore you guys and like show the whole and show myself doing my whole makeup because that's like not fun. So I'm just going to show you guys like bits and pieces here and there. I think that'll be better. Okay, you guys, I'm all ready. Going to put some gloss. But yeah, this is the full glam look. What do you guys think? I haven't done full glam like this in so long. But I love getting ready for like events like this because I just like to take my time and get ready and and yeah I just really like doing my makeup and like filming it and stuff. It's just really fun for me So I'm gonna get dressed now and I'm gonna show you guys my dress Um with it on and then we can get my like ready and stuff is getting ready right now, too All right, you guys I ended up doing my hijab like this. I went with a chiffon hijab. I think it matches really well Um, I did like this other style at first and I did not like how it looked so I think this style looks better This way you can like see my earrings so I picked these really pretty silver earrings out that'll match my dress. So let me put it on. And then I can step back and show you guys my dress. But what do we think of the hijab style? I like fashion taped it all across here so it's secure. It's not going anywhere. 
Let me turn. Okay, now let me step back and show you guys like my full dress. Okay, you guys, here's my dress. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom. Hang on, let me move it down a little bit. Okay, I moved it down. I think you can see the bottom, but if not, I'll just give myself a to record me like again walking. But look how pretty it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's gonna be such a fun night. And then I paired it with, you can't really see, but it's like these, um, silver like sparkly heel because they match like the beading of it really well so that's the shoes i'm wearing and this is the fit musafa is getting my ready right now and then uh, i can show you guys like all our outfits together so yay i'm so excited alec show us your outfit he won't let us put his jacket on but look at the matching okay give him a hug give baba a hug tell him to give you a hug <laughs> We still need to put his bow tie on and his jacket and dress shoes. Oh my gosh, he just hit me. His dress shoes. Okay, we gotta go. We're like running late. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. Just gonna put his dress shoes on. Look at these cute little dress shoes. He's pissed. Like, he's so mad at us right now for dressing him. He hates getting dressed. <laughs> period. But putting a like, tux on him? Oh, Shoot. I think I just took this out of the thing. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to put your shoe on real quick. Is it in? It's okay. Yeah, it's in. <gasps> oh my god, they're so <laughs> We're not happy, I know, but just show them the zoos. <gasps> oh my goodness, you and Baba are matching. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all are twinsies matching. Mally, go to Baba. Go to Baba. <laughs> he won't yeah. let us put his jacket on, you guys. So, well, we didn't even try because we know he's gonna scream. Yeah. We don't want right. him, we don't want him to cry anymore. So venue. we're gonna put it on at the venue. Woo. Yeah. I think it's funny because he has his pacifier on him and, and he's in a suit. I just think that that's hilarious. All right, you guys, we're all ready. Mally is really angry right now. So. But they're matching, like literally identical. And we have his jacket. We're gonna take it too. But he doesn't want to record anymore. So we're gonna head out the door. But I am gonna vlog the wedding, so follow along. Okay, you guys, look at this card we got her. Isn't it so pretty? It's like so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Malik, you look so cute. He is so not happy, but he looks adorable. Yay, we're like. We're like almost there. I can like show you guys. I don't know if I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned that me and Mustafa got married here actually. So she's getting married at the same venue. So it's gonna be so weird going back there. We got married here three and a half years ago. So I'm so excited to like be able to come back. I'm so excited to see like how they decorated like the room. Show a lifetime full of love, happiness, health, and success. <laughs> 